Didn't I tell you the time and date again and again? Yeah, but I never said I would go, right? Yeah, but you didn't say you weren't coming either. That's why you have to make things so difficult. Brad and Yoo Young, what do you mean? I don't understand. Exactly. You're my girlfriend, but you never understand. You just keep going on and on. Have you for once asked what I want? I did. When didn't I? I told you how important it was to me. And I said I really wanted you to be there. And I asked you if you wanted to come. You asked? You were like, oh, Brendan, it's a dream come true. Brendan, please come. It's so important to me. You didn't give me a choice? Well, it was a choice. I've always wanted to be involved in something like this. I mean, it's amazing working with other people to produce something inspiring. And I told you about it for weeks and weeks. I told you I wanted you to be there for me that night, but you weren't. Look, I was out. Yeah, doing what? With my friends. See? You don't even have a reason to tell me. I was so disappointed. And you don't have a single reason? I was out with my friends. Something came up. It won't happen again, okay? Yeah. But that wasn't the first time. Remember? With my mom's birthday? And when I waited for you the whole night to call me, you just don't care about what's important. Look, Suan, I try, alright? I do try. So don't make me the guilty party here. Hello. You can't control people like this. Control? I've never tried to control you. Oh yes, you do all the time. Brandon, remember this? Brandon, remember that? Brandon must change for the better. You're always trying to change me, but this is who I am. But who you are isn't the best that you can be. Those friends ruin you. They'll ruin your life. Well, they're my friends. Are you going to try to control them too? Do I have to get approval from you every time I make a new friend? <laughs> Do I have to ask for permission every time I meet with them? You can't control people like this, Swan. I'm not controlling people. I'm just trying to help. Is that so bad? Maybe no one has told you this, but you need to hear. You have a very warm idea of help. You're the one who needs help. What? I can't believe it. You heard me. I can't believe it. You disappointed me so much, and now you're hurting me even more? What kind of a boyfriend are you? Obviously not the kind of boyfriend that you want. Sorry, I don't have a white horse. Neither do I have a... Neither do I have any shiny armor on. You love fairy tales, don't you? Well, maybe it's time to get it in your head. This isn't a fairy tale. It's real life. That's enough. That's enough. Why are you so mean to me? Sometimes I think it would be better if we just broke up.
Have you decided what it's going to be about? That's what this meeting is about. Ah, okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Who's that on the script writer? Brandon Liu Jiang, first year economist. You know him? Hey, Shirley. Sorry. Hey. What, seriously? <laughs> <laughs> so, you do know each other? Yeah, listen. You have her, you don't need me, okay? I'm just gonna go. Don't even think about it! <laughs> Look, this, the two of us, it's not worth it. Save yourself the trouble. Trust me on this one. Brandon, I need you on this team. And you, I need both of you. There's no way you're pulling out now. You're so past the point of no return. So don't even think about it and sit down. Oh yeah? And what are you gonna do if I don't? Oh, you haven't got enough of me when I first got you to join? Remember, I have your address. <laughs> What is 
this play going to be about? Oh, oh, I have an idea. What if we make a play about men's exploitation of nature? A young boy's forced out of the jungle by a big multinational. That was a rhetorical question, Sue. And anyway, no one's going to make a play about your latest pet time waster. Oh, so you're using your time much more wisely then? I mean, who cares about the less fortunate when you've got games to play and parties to attend, right? Look, all I'm saying is that you don't think things through. Saving the environment is a great cause, but going about it the way that you do? <clears throat> oh, so you have a better idea then? Because the whole time we were together, Nothing constructive ever came out of your mouth. Just whining and complaining. At least I'm doing something with my life. Guys, calm down. <laughs> sure, I'm glad you're the type who's more happy with doing rather than achieving. That's why it's always rainbows and butterflies with you. That is enough! <laughs> <laughs> Ever since they were in college, 
I don't think they work out, man. You just don't know them well. Oi, they were my best friends in college, okay? But I'm your best friend now. <laughs> <laughs>
I don't even know what I'm going to do after I graduate. And you're so lucky that your dad came all the way just to take care of you. Yeah. Hey, um, I have to go, man. I need to go help Shalene buy some stuff. You always do things for Shalene. <laughs> <laughs> you know this, huh? I wish she noticed once in a while. Yeah, but I should go. See you at the society fair at 9am tomorrow, okay? Where do you think I got all my free stationery from? B 
Besides, I just brought him up to like get him to join some society, let him make some new friends. <laughs> hey, what's that? This is a video camera edition. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know you were interested in film. I never told you. So, you want to join the film society? No. <laughs> then what, why? Because I don't have enough money. Huh? How much could it possibly be? Well, it's just 200 pounds. But no. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy stuff! <laughs> When you come to think about it, it's not that expensive. You see, we're not a city in the club, we're the best of the best. We're not like some Oxford Film Society or anything like that. We recruit the best professionals, kind of approach the people with the best technology. And we are only looking for talents, the ones who are visionaries, the ones who are able to turn ideas into reality. So tell me, are you crazy Xiao enough to join us? No? <laughs> Let's go, Tim. This isn't right for you. Bye. Tim, I'll make you a deal, okay? I'll pay for your membership fees, and you use whatever you learn to help me promote my campaign. Hello! You crazy self! <laughs>
relax. Okay? Relax. We can start the audition already. Okay, fine. I'll put something else out. You guys better audition them well. First up. Hi. No, it's fine. I 
I've memorized this. I threw a wish in the well. <laughs> Good, and you 
notification. Why you waste your time? I think <laughs> <laughs> it's fun and study is so boring. Keep full. <laughs> Keep full. I didn't spend all this money for you to have fun. You think all this is very cheap, ah? huh? I spend money on your tuition. I spend money on this beautiful apartment. I spend money on your books. I spend money on your medicine and your medical checkup. Wow. You think money grew on trees? Ah? I think money made from trees. Get go! <laughs> you want to talk to me, I tell you. You know how much sacrifice I put in? Ah? I moved to UK just so I can look after you. You know how painful? Ah? No more baku te, no more baku te. When the therapist say I have to look after you every week. Oh, so I hold my heart for now. <laughs> Always difficult since you are a baby. Hey boy! Oi, you still need a lot. Keep full! Oi! Sit down and listen to me! Promise me you will stop wasting your time with this stupid camera and study hard. Otherwise, I will. I cannot! I, I must finish the video for Shirley and Sue Ann. And I am in charge of music and lighting for Shirley's play. They say it's very. Listen, they say it's very. Listen! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 